Hey guys, it's JD from Ponzel World, and today we're unboxing and reviewing this Bluetooth transmitter made by One Me. Now you can find this on Amazon. Links will be down below this video if you want to go pick this thing up. Guess there's not much more to say about it. So let's go ahead and show you around the box. You can see on the front, this is what it looks like here. Pretty cool looking. See it has some antennas here. You could uh, transmit or you can receive on the side One Me. And then on back here, it looks like we have the Amazon label, and that is what's included in the box right there. So let's go in and open it up. Looks like you just pull right here. And actually, we need to cut the seal on the front, or on the top, rather. Let's get the knife in there. Cut that. Cut that. Now it should just pull open here. There we go. Looks like here we have some instructions. If you want to take a look at this, go ahead and pause the video now. Here's a user manual, and then here's the actual product itself. Looks pretty cool, pretty lightweight, and a bunch of accessories down here, as you can tell. Just gonna take it out of the wrapping here. I get my finger in there. Here it is. There's all of your uh, ports at the top right there. Again, very light. Pretty cool. Peel this off. There it is. All right, let's go in and give it a charge if it needs it and go ahead and try it out. All right, so here I have it plugged up. I'm about to try it out here. I just want to point out that this thing does not have a built-in battery. Uh, you actually have to, have to uh, have it plugged into the wall. So keep that in mind if you're getting this. Uh, it, it always has to be plugged up for it to work. Uh, so just keep that in mind. All right, so here I have it set up. It's paired to my iPhone XS Max uh, off to the side through Bluetooth. And I have it going through this aux cord here into the stereo and then out to the speakers right here. Let's go and get on the phone here and press play just to show you that it works. Turn up the volume here. You can see it's coming from my phone onto here, wirelessly, of course. It's going to turn it down here. You can actually turn up and down the volume from here, which is pretty cool. Right there, pretty cool. There it is. All right, so here I have the device. Um, actually wired up to my iPhone Tennis Max here, and it's actually going through here and then transmitting Bluetooth uh, audio to this speaker here. And as you can see, bring up the volume there. It's working just fine, absolutely no issues. You can control the volume from here. It's gonna go back down here. You can also change between low latency and high definition mode. Right there. As you can see. Pretty cool, it seems to be working just fine so far. All right, so I'm about to give my final opinions, but I also wanted to go over this bypass mode, which is right in between here, right in between the transceiving and receiving uh, mode right there, there is bypass. And that's basically, so you have uh, cords going in and cords going out. Um, basically, it's a complete wired connection um, and it completely bypasses, of course, the transceiving and the receiving mode right there. Um, now, one important thing to note by the directions, it says that you can only use it with the same type of input and output. For example, you have aux going in, you need to have aux going out, or optical in, you need to have optical going out if you're going to be using the bypass mode. Also, in case you want to go ahead and see the instructions, well, I have them right here. Um, feel free to go ahead and pause the video if you want to go ahead and read up a little bit more on this. Pause the video, go ahead and take a look at the screen right there in case you're wondering how to use the thing right there. That's how you do it. And then right here is the bypass mode that I was talking about. You can see it's a complete wired connection right there. All right, there it is. Let's go in and give my final opinions. All right, so there was a quick little unboxing and review on this transmitter receiver here. Uh, so far, the thing seems to be working pretty good. Um, now, I do want to point out something. In the previous clip, I was using my phone uh, wired into here, which was then transmitting to the Bluetooth speaker there. I could just use my, you know, my speaker and my phone via Bluetooth uh, and completely eliminate this thing. But for the purpose of a review, I was wanting to use my phone wired up into this thing and then it transmitting out to that speaker. 
Um, really in place of like my phone, you would be using a, um, like a TV. You would have audio coming from the TV out through an aux uh, cord or through this uh, digital cord here. And you would have it going into the back of this and then it would be going out from this to a Bluetooth speaker if your TV, you know, didn't have Bluetooth or something like that. Or maybe if you have uh, like a really old phone, maybe that has aux, you could have it going from here. And then of course, to the uh, Bluetooth speaker. Um, basically, if you don't have a Bluetooth device that you want to go ahead and use a Bluetooth speaker with, uh, this is how you do it here. You get one of these and it'll work just fine with absolutely, again, no issues. Um, so there it is. Again, an unboxing and review on this Bluetooth transmitter here. Absolutely no issues so far. Seems to have a good amount of features. Really like that it has that built-in DAC chip. I think it's pretty cool. You can also, of course, change right here low latency to high uh, definition. Um, also on the back here, you have, of course, the aux cord right here. You have your optical or digital uh, port right there. And then you also have to your speaker and from TV, it goes in or it could come out just like that. Uh, so there it is, pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.